first up on the table, I ask the question, what have you learned from quarantine? All right, Motivational Monday. So my goddaughter is hanging out with me right now. I asked the question on social media, what did you learn from quarantine? And I loved what you had to say and I wanted to bring you on. So talk about the playing field being level. What did you mean by that? Yeah, so right now, uh, I feel like it's the first time that everybody is kind of at home. Like, to, just to put it frank, I mean, people are obviously traveling, but for work and things of that nature, but the majority of America, the, the, the world is at the crib. Mm -hmm. So we're all, for the first time, everybody is able to access the same amount of things. Right. Whether it's job or celebrities, whatever you do, entertainment, teaching, anything, you can all access the same exact tools and materials right now. So I view the quarantine like the Titanic. So on the Titanic, you had rich people on the boat. You had middle class, lower class, but everybody was on the same boat. Got you. So if I'm, you know, at the bottom of the ship, but I want to reach the top, I can go through channels and levels now that I wasn't able to access before getting on the boat. You know, we, went from, we went from being on, you know, catching lips and they in the Maybach to now we all on the same boat. Right. So all we got to do is, you know, go from where I'm at to be able to access that top level where all the rich people are. And that's what's been happening recently. That's good. Ain't nothing else to do. Right. Except so, home like we are. You, you were talking about, you know, you've gone viral. Talk about some of those posts that, that you've uh, gone viral with. Yeah, so I posted, I uh, joined the Wyclef Challenge because uh, I do music too. So I did a verse. Wyclef put me on his Twitter. Hold up, Wyclef. wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Because she's just going to downplay it. She was just like, I just, I do music too. No, <laughs> like, I can't even put it into words. Um, the, the lyrical genius that is in her brain. Like, seriously, like. You can give her a topic. Like, I, you know what I want to see you do? Because I thought about this. I was watching, you know, we we love Wildin' Out. And I saw, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, oh, man. Uh, just, I know what you're talking about. Justina, do the five mm -hmm. years of death on Sway in the Morning. Yeah. And I was like, Brittany got to do that. Brittany's got to <laughs> do the, the, the five fingers of death. Sway in the Morning, we need you to put Breeze on there. And I bet you she'll tear it down. But Yeah, me and, top, me and uh, Randy used to do that on the way to the studio, throw instrumentals on and he would point out objects that were riding past and I was just freestyling about them. So, you know, but yeah, I was, I did that uh, verse and, and Clef put me on Twitter and he put me on his Instagram and he, you know, inboxed me and I told him, you know, keep a lookout for me, whatever the case. But I feel like if the world was open, I wouldn't have been able to do that. He would have probably been, you know, Africa or somewhere, you know, exactly. wherever clubs from doing his thing, and he wasn't like he was at home on scrolling on social media and you know liked my video. Um, went viral in the shade room for you know because I do a little bit of comedy and I think I made a funny post and <laughs> again she's downplaying it, but <laughs> I'm not gonna hide my like genius that. that is in her brain as well, like. She and I get together and we just laugh at, at silly stuff because we're both funny. I ain't going, I'm not going to hype myself like that. I'll hype it for you because I mean, Thanks, God comedian, God. Uh, MC, and back in the day, dance. I'm not. I don't know your knees. I don't know if they're going to allow you to do what you used to do back in the day. I, I can line dance. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it to the left. But she the will break anybody Stop. down. Anybody. You see Chris Brown in uh in uh Stomp the Yard. Oh, she would have killed Chris Brown. <laughs> Yeah, she did. Yeah. Columbus Short, she would have handed it to both of them. <laughs> but yeah, so that went viral and I was posted on the shade room. Uh, and I got like 18 million followers. So a lot of their people, you know, came to my Facebook and started following me. A couple of videos that I posted had like 10,000 views. And right now, you know, I'm working on another video that the, the 44, snip, 44 second snippet of the song has like, you know, shares and views already so you gotta take advantage of the opportunity people can complain and be downtrodden and, but I'm I'm using it as a, as an opportunity to be where I have seen myself being for a few years now and now that 
they're just like us. They're just rich. They just are in a bigger house, but they're still in a house, you know? Yep. <laughs> they're, everything is just shut down right now. So they're all scrolling. They're all looking for talent right now. It's, remember how it was in the 90s where if you had a great song, you could just send it to like the headquarters of Bad Boys and they'll play the tape and listen to it. Right. Now they want you to have millions of followers, your own streaming, all of that right now because that's social media. Right. But now they're at home and I'm seeing all these ads pop up. Send us your music. Send us this. Enter this contest. Because they're at home. All they can do is listen to other people's stuff. So, yeah, I'm taking it as an opportunity to climb to the top of the boat. That's good like Jack did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get my Jack on. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good analogy um good stuff good stuff so continue continue success to you and uh let me know how that goes i told you i got a uh introduction i need to make happen for you um i'm gonna try to get your um music in front of somebody who who makes some stuff happen here locally and uh hopefully you know he can add you to the to the the team and uh, make deal. that happen all right thank you know that i love you and uh we'll talk soon all right let me see about that and I'm not just saying all that either because my goddaughter. I'm saying it for real. Like, I don't vouch for everybody. I'd be like, I love my goddaughter. Yeah, but no, I wouldn't do that. So just in case anybody went, oh, he's just saying that. No. Oh, give him, give him your information. I'm going to definitely do that for you. Give him your information so they can follow you and, and see all the stuff oh, that you do. Yeah, so Instagram is only one underscore breeze. So it's only the number one underscore breeze. And then Facebook is Bri, B-R-Y, breeze. Then Youngblood is my last name. So Brad Breeze Youngblood. And my Twitter handle is the same as Instagram, but I don't really be on Twitter that much. Until I'm famous and I can start acting like I don't know people, then I'll get on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to act like I don't know somebody. <laughs> That's You better not act like you don't know me. That's all I'm saying. No, no, I'm taking you with me. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> all right, Breeze. Thank you, babe. All right, got that.